Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. So as I'm sure all of you guys are aware, with the recent Chop Shop DLC, Rockstar Games have started to roll out all of the Cut Cops and Crooks content. These have included some police vehicles and soon to be a brand new police mini heist. Now we do know that Rockstar Games have also got some more police vehicles that they do plan on releasing into the game over the coming weeks which will lead on to a brand new Cops and Crooks style DLC that we can expect to see in 2024. Now a lot of you guys may not be aware that some of these police vehicles do come with secret features that you guys can add to them or unlock. However, not only that, there's also some hidden features these cars have that have been found in the game files that haven't been released yet. So not only am I going to show you guys how you can acquire a secret upgrade for one of your police vehicles, but I'm also going to be giving you guys a heads up on the hidden features these vehicles have, as well as covering some more changes that Rockstar Games have made with the recent hotfix. So as always, if you guys do go on to enjoy the video and you do appreciate me keeping you up to date with all of the latest GTA 5 news, all I ask is you do return the favor by dropping a like down below and if you guys are new around here hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on as i do post daily gta 5 videos with that being said let's get into the video okay so the first feature i'm going to show you guys is how all of you guys can acquire this secret emergency light bar option that you guys can see for the stania la cruiser if you guys go ahead and customize your Stania La Cruiser, you will notice that it does not have this option available. However, like I said, by using a specific trick, all of you guys could unlock this rare light bar on top of your car and you could actually double up using this trick. So you could have this exclusive secret one along with the standard one or you can go ahead and remove the standard one just so you could have this secret one on top of it. However, to go ahead and unlock this secret police light bar for your vehicle, you guys will need to own an auto shop in the game. And don't worry if you guys don't own an auto shop, just go ahead and join my Discord server, which will be linked as a pinned comment underneath this video. We've got tons of active players, always up for helping each other out, trading cars, or just sharing outfits and paint jobs. However, like I said, if you guys don't own an auto shop, as soon as you guys join the Discord server, there will be a category on the left called find players once you guys click on that tab it will drop down a list of all of the platforms where you guys can simply click on and find players on the same platform as you so like i said whether you guys don't have that many friends that do play gta 5 or you're just looking for some players to grind money out with or trade cars then do be sure to go ahead and join the discord server which will be linked as a pinned comment now once you guys have got an auto shop you want to make your way up to the message board and you want to start the mission known as the ecu job now don't worry if the ecu job isn't showing up on your board for you for my example i got it straight away however if it's not showing for you just simply go ahead and start any of these missions once you guys start the mission you want to launch it make your way outside of the auto shop then you can pull up your phone call sesonata and simply cancel the mission once you guys cancel the mission it's then going to go ahead and refresh the jobs on the board so like i said you guys can go ahead and get the ecu job which we will need to unlock this secret light bar so just go ahead and complete the plan and work for the ecu job it's very very easy to complete the plan and work one of them is called train inventory where i as you guys can see on screen all you'll have to do is head over to the docks you'll make your way over to this cargo ship where you'll have to locate the container manifest so to save you guys a bunch of time if you are going to go ahead and do this here is the location of the manifest in case it's been a while since you guys played this mission so to simply go ahead pull up your phone take a picture of it and send it to Sesonata once you've taken a picture of that and sent it to Sesonata, simply jump back on your oppressor or whatever vehicle you're using, drive to the front of the ship where you're going to have to go ahead and collect this duffel bag. Now, interestingly, there is a way that you guys can save this red and blue duffel bag. I've already made a video covering that quite a while back and it does still work. So if you guys want to add this duffel bag to any of your outfits, I'll leave a link to that video down low in the comment section and it is a pretty cool looking duffel bag as I know a lot of you guys do make blue and red outfits. 
However, once you guys go ahead and deliver the duffel bag back to your auto shop, you can go ahead and launch the second and final plan and work, which will be called schedule. For this one, all you guys have to do is make your way over to the train tracks, as you guys can see on screen. Try and keep your distance from the enemies at the first part of this one, as it will save you guys a bit of headache having to kill enemies and wasting time. So just come over to the left side of the train and you guys can take a picture of it by standing on top of these containers. Once you've done that, you'll have to take a picture of the brakes and then once again send those to Sessonata and then for the third and final bit of this mission you have to make your way over to the office section where you will have no choice you're better off just killing these guards straight away making your way upstairs do be careful there's going to be another guard up here waiting for you and then that's where you're going to go ahead and find the schedule once again once you guys go ahead and collect this schedule get back on your vehicle and deliver it back to your auto shop now, once you guys have completed the first two planning works, what you guys want to go ahead and do is make sure you've got your Staniela Cruiser in any owned apartment garage. This will not work if it's in any special business type apartment. It must be in an owned apartment garage. So as you guys can see on screen, I just drove over to my apartment at Alter Street, which is flooded in modded dumpster twos. So once you guys have got your car parked in an owned apartment garage, and do take note, you will have to kind of remember where the garage is or your own department as these won't show up once you guys start the mission and if you guys do struggle to find the location of your own department without seeing it on the map then what you guys can simply go ahead and do is just set a point of interest by pressing y or triangle on the playstation and that will basically stay on your map even once you guys go ahead and start a mission so once you guys have gone ahead and done that make your way back to the auto shop and simply launch the final mission of course being the ecu job you can do this completely completely solo you don't need any other players to go ahead and join your game but like i said if you guys don't own an auto shop then don't worry another player can host it for you and you guys can go ahead and unlock these light bars now once you guys start the mission up it is going to ask you guys to select a vehicle do not pick any of your custom vehicles just pick a loaner car so for this example i went ahead and used sesanata's vehicle you guys can use the same one as me if you want now once you guys load into the mission from here all you guys want to do is make your way over to the owned apartment where we stored our staniela cruiser you want to make your way inside of your garage and drive the police car out and one thing i forgot to mention is make sure you guys do pick the sharpshooter loadout that's the weapon loadout when you guys start this mission it should automatically be on the sharpshooter but just make sure that you guys do select that as you will need the sticky bombs however from here you want to get outside of your vehicle and simply cause some damage to your vehicle so you can and just do as i do on screen and shoot some bullet holes in the windows just spray it down one time pull up your interaction menu go down to support crew and you want to pay five thousand dollars and select quick fix now as soon as you guys select that you will notice that a square should pop up right in front of you or behind of you which once you drive into will repair your vehicle so drive into that square wait a few seconds till it gets repaired and you guys should notice when you drive out, it's now glitched the secret light bar, or the secret emergency light bar, should I say, on top of your vehicle with the original light bar. Like I said, this is a pretty crazy glitch to do because you can't actually go ahead and buy these light bars. However, we're not quite done from here. Once you guys have done that, you've glitched the light bar onto your vehicle, go ahead and drive it back into your garage and make your way outside. Now, once you guys are outside, just simply go ahead and pull out some sticky bombs and kill yourself twice so you guys failed a mission now once you guys fail the mission and you die simply press x or a to go ahead and continue once you guys continue and you load back into free roam you should notice as soon as you make your way back over to your garage your police vehicle would have glitched over the secret light bar from the mission onto our vehicle in free roam and of course a big thing with players trading cars nowadays in gta 5 is by going ahead and getting mods on the car that you can't buy over at ls custom so this is another great way to go ahead and mod this police vehicle especially if you guys do want to go ahead and add a few more mods onto this thing that like i said can't be purchased in the game and i do know quite a few glitches that can add mods onto this vehicle so let me know down below in the comment section if that's something you guys would like to see more often and one thing i do want to give you guys a heads up on is that the bar once you guys glitch it onto your vehicle is 
permanent because obviously rockstar games have not officially released this you guys will not have an option to go ahead and remove this light bar from your vehicle so do make sure that you do want to keep it if you guys do go ahead and do this glitch but me personally i don't know why anyone wouldn't go ahead and do this glitch as it just makes the vehicle look a bit more unique and especially if rockstar games end up patching this glitch which is very likely there will be no other way you guys can glitch two sets of emergency lights onto your police vehicle at the same time. And if you guys would like more information on the upcoming Cops and Crooks content from the brand new Gauntlet Interceptor or even the Police Heist, I'll leave a link to the full playlist down below in the comment section. And for you guys that have noticed my character has been wearing a police outfit during this video, I'll also leave a link to that video down below in the comment section showing you guys how you could all unlock this police outfit very, very easily. However, that is going to do it for me guys. As always, if you do appreciate me keeping you up to date with all of the latest GTA 5 news, all I ask is you do return the favour by dropping a like down below. And if you guys are new around here, hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on as I do post daily GTA 5 videos. Thanks a lot for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video.